Hey guys, this is Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger, and you are watching New England Comic Con Reviews. Yes. Hey everybody, it's Yosarian. Hey guys, Vlad. Vlad and Yo-Yo here, or Yo-Yo and Vlad, um, uh, hanging out, and we wanted to bring you guys, since tomorrow is June 1st, so probably when you guys see this, it will be June 1st for you. So we're coming from the past. Ooh, timey wimey. Hey, we're going to try to do this once a month. Uh, we hopefully earlier before the next month comes in and let you know what Comic Cons are coming up, uh, what's going to go happen in them, and uh, just drop some uh, some Comic Con guidelines and rules we've picked up or we abide by hmm. when we go to a con to a show or any event in general life is sometimes good to follow. Yes. Yo yo? Um. Well, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing here. Um, I mean, the first con that's coming up, in, you know, this actually this weekend would be Scarecon New England. Scarecon June second, third, and fourth. Uh, the door kidding are our good friends. Uh, the door kidding and Massachusetts Ghostbusters are going to be there. Uh, Yo Yo's also going to be there. I unfortunately got booked for a different engagement that I cannot turn down, so I will not be there. Well, I'll be there in spirit because I'll be thinking about you guys. And every once in a while, maybe in video chat, I'll walk around with them on like that. Yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. Definitely on Friday and most of Saturday, I'll be doing that. Um, so you guys will miss me, my, my masks at Scaracon this year, at Scaracon New England, which is the second year in Springfield. Yes. And uh, Second it, it, year in Massachusetts. Second year in Massachusetts, right. Uh, uh, the New York one is pretty great, too. Uh, so I hear I still haven't made it there. But Leo and Kevin did, right? Yep. Yeah. So anyways, the whole crew is going to be there Sent me at, 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 uh, at Scaracon, New England. Leo, Kevin, Steve, Yo-Yo, and they're going to be both broadcasting live. And Scaracon is going to have the first ever sneak peek preview of Death House. Which is going to be awesome. Hopefully, I'll be able to check that out, but we also will have a table, so... Someone's going to have to make the sacrifice of not seeing it, and it might end up being me. Not well, I mean, if if you go by the rung, you know the the the, the ladder wise, Steve falls at the bottom of the rung right now, so he should be the one over at the at the table while you guys are watching the sneak pre preview. If you guys haven't heard Death House, get out of that rock, because we've been promoting this movie along with the Dorkening for I don't know how long. The Dorkening and us got invited, well, the Dorkening and we, along with the Dorkening, we got invited to go down to the set of Death House with uh, Harrison Smith and Kane Hodder was there and, and it was just great. The Dorkening did a great video on it, just go check it out. So getting to see this movie before it's released, it's just amazing. The, the previews we've seen, the pictures, and just the people in it just, just wow I mean I mean if you're on social media make sure you're following them um, Death House is available it's gonna be on Twitter or on Instagram so just look them up it's definitely been a awesome experience being able to see it, this movie how it's progressed yes so I just can't wait to see the final product yes and there's just so many people in it Lloyd Kaufman Kane Hodder Felicia Rose Sean Whalen who we've had in the show many times as well as Felicia Rose um, God, why am I forgetting who else was in it? Um, just, just a, a plethora of people. Not to mention is is Gunnar 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 Hansen's like last project ever. So he, it, this was his brainchild, and Harrison Smith made it happen after his passing. So that's very cool. Besides the sneak peek of Death House, we also just heard today that another good friends of ours. I got up having a, a sneak peek there, and it's uh, Space Babes from Out of Space, right? Yeah, yeah Space <laughs> Babes from Out of Space, which is done by, um, uh, I forgot their group, their production company. Uh, it's Scott and Brian and Eli, or oh, Ellie, ch church, uh, that, <laughs> <laughs> that did uh, Harvest Lake, which I love that movie. It was a great uh Suspense mystery horror movie. So they put together another movie called Space Me Found Out of Space. They also did Headless, right? Which was another gory, lots of blood everywhere movie. So that that sneak peek is gonna be there. So it's this con is just full of previews and sneak peeks and, and just so much panels. There's Kevin was talking about the panels the other day and the panels that they have in there are freaking ridiculous with all the people there. 
it's just if if you haven't checked it out, you've got a couple of days to figure out if you want to go or not, and you should go. If you don't want to go, switch places with me, and I'll go because I really want to go. But it's just it's great con, really low prices, right right here in Mass. If you local, which a lot of you are, my viewers are local. It's going to be in Springfield, and what we haven't mentioned yet are some of the people who are going to be here. Um, Sid Haig is going to be there, Tony Todd, um, mentioned a report on um, Felicia Rhodes, Ken Hodder is going to be there, Jason Hawes. Um, if you guys don't know who he is, he is the person behind Ghost Hunters. Um, He's also the person behind Scaricon along with JV. Yeah. Um, so stop by his table and say thanks for putting a great show together. Just an awesome guy to talk to, too. So, I mean, he, he asked, yeah, he, we actually asked Scaricon last year. We were like, I was coming out of the elevator to go into my room. Apparently, he was on the same floor, and I, I didn't even notice him. He noticed me first. He goes, Oh, hey, how are you? And he, 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 he initiated the conversation instead of me saying, Oh my god, you're Jason. He's like, Remember us from doing the show that we did pr that week prior. So, it was really cool of him. Um, Felicia Rose mentioned her, uh, Carolyn Williams. Russell Strainer, I don't, Lenny Quigley, I can't pronounce that name, I am sorry. John Kisar, Kisir, um, I don't know, I think he's the voice from the guy from Tales of the Crypt. Oh, I'm sorry if I butchered your names. Mark Patton, uh, Ricky Ding Logan, James Duvall, Sean Whalen, of course, uh, just a bunch of other people there too that are just, there you go, that's J.V. Johnson. It's, it's going to be a great con, don't miss it. This is the first con in June which happens this coming weekend, so don't miss it. Be there, and if you can't be there, tune into the Dork and they're gonna be live streaming from there and catch a lot of it from there, so at least you'll get to watch it live as it's happening. Now, the next con we wanna talk about is... Um, Literally gonna be the week after that. Yeah, the following week, and that's gonna be in Connecticut at Foxwoods Casino. You guessed that Comic-Con brought to you by the great people at Alta Reality Entertainment. Yeah, that's it. And it's going to be on the 10th and the 11th. Right. And so they're, the, con. they're the same people who bring you Rhode Island Comic Con and Colorado Spring Comic Con. And I uh, ask you if you've ever been to Rhode Island Comic Con, you can just tell already this is going to be a great con because Rhode Island is just freaking amazing. Rhode Island is kind of one of my favorite because it was also my first con. So I've got a soft spot for Rhode Island. I mean, it just keeps getting better and better. Every it's, year, so I'm, I mean. I'm going broke just seeing all these updates. Did you see who they just put? Oh uh, no! Don't tell me that. I don't. I don't need to. Think it's it's like from my childhood, like uh, Peter Whaler, Robocop. Really? Yes. Uh, they just announced Peter. My, Whaler. my wallet hates you right yeah, now. Yay! Yeah, don't tell. <laughs> I, that's exactly what I posted earlier. I told it we need to have a sit down and talk about this because I'm on a budget. You know, got a kid, got a house, got two dogs. I need, you know. Anyways, Comic Con, uh, Foxwood Resort Casino, which is a great place. You can go to the con, you can gamble, you can stay there. They've got good food. They, they, the buffet down there is freaking amazing. I've been going to Fox so since I was little. So comfortable to walk in too. Yeah, yeah, you guys were mentioning that, which is true. The, the carpets help. Uh, Fox was, you know, it's a great place. Um, I, I grew up going there. My parents used to go there for bingo. They used to take us. We used to go to the arcade and hang out there all day and cause trouble. I'm surprised we didn't get kicked out, but besides the point, food was great. Um, so why go to Comic-Con besides just the fact that it's a Comic-Con and you can buy lots of good stuff you've been looking for, like comics you haven't been able to find. The celebrities, uh, let's see, Son of Anarchy, Hellboy, Ron Perlman, Theo Rossi, Ryan Hurst, another Son of Anarchy, Stranger Things, uh, oh, you pronounce that one. Uh, don't ask me to pronounce people's names. Uh, Gaten Matasaro, Mat Mat Matarasso. The kid with the no teeth and the friend in Stranger Things who did a great job. Um, sorry, dude. Great actor. I can't pronounce your name. And of course, one of like my man crush, uh, I'll admit it, man crush, Jason David Frank is going to be at Comic-Con, who I met last year at Rhode Island Comic-Con, and I can't say, I just can't stop talking about how nice he was and how well he treated my child, and not just my child, but everyone else in that line. He was great, and not, not just everyone else in that line, but he also made time for the uh, the the press that was there. He took time he he took time out of it just to make sure he talked to all the press there and all the staff that yeah. wanted to meet him. At the end, of the Sunday, he was like, "All the staff that wants to come over, and I'll sign something for you." So really cool, dude. 
he made the, he made a lot of effort. Like that's one of the things that stood out to me a lot. He made effort to make sure all the staff that were like he thanked them all. Like just an incredibly humble guy. Yeah, I mean, not not just it's just even while you're standing in the line. Don't mind, that's my dog. Even while you're standing in the line, he he, he interacts with the line. He he she started life life uh, live streaming from the line, and he find who's got a live stream going on right now, and he was like with the other guy with the fan. And he was looking at his live stream when the other guy's <laughs> fans phone, which was I thought was pretty cool. I guess he does that a lot. If you guys follow him on Instagram, you'll see him. Um, we've got Ryan Park from Phantom of the Menace and G.I. Joe and X-Men. Ryan. Ray. Ray Park. Ray Park. <laughs> Whew. It's Darth late Maul. at night, and I've been here a while. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a player. Dark Maul, um, Toad and X-Men. Um, Spencer Wilding, he, does, he was in Star Wars, Rogue One, and Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you do this one. Why? Because <laughs> I'm going to get too excited. Fine. Sean Mayer <laughs> from Firefly, Serenity, the doctor from, uh, you know, Simon from Firefly, who, my God, why only one season, Fox? <sighs> Anyways. I, I just wanted to see him do that. <laughs> oh, that was so worth it. <laughs> Summer Glue. I miss Summer Glue. I wrote on him last year, too. Mm. Oh, she's so... Anyways. Uh, Kevin so, Sussman from The Big Bang Theory. We have some Walking Dead alumnus. So oh yeah, that's all you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, we have Elizabeth um, Ludlow. We have Anne... Oh god, I cannot see what her name is. Mahoney. There we go, Mahoney. I should know that by seeing it. <laughs> um, Jeremy... Palco. Palco, sorry. And Kaylee Kennedy. Do you know who what the characters were? You. So I can tell you, all of them are gone. Fortunately, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen all of it, so I don't want to sit there no, and spoil I, too much. You're not going to spoil anything from me. <laughs> let me tell you. Um, Aaron Schwartz from uh, Volume Two, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, and the Mighty Ducks. Who was seeing the Mighty Ducks? I am not too sure. I'm gonna have to see shot. Uh, she, she shot. She shot. <laughs> Search that. Let's see. Wrestle wrestling hall of fame. Oh, Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> the nature boy himself. Nature boy. Yeah, <laughs> he's good. He's uh, been around. Uh, a couple other uh, wrestling stars: Scott Hall, Amy Dumas, Bobby Hanna, uh, Brutus. Mike. That, that's just beefcake, right? Yes. Okay. Brutus Beefcake, I know, I'm not a big wrestling fan. I stopped watching wrestling a while ago. Sorry, guys. Don't kill me. Ming Sheng, we just had Ming Sheng uh, on the door on the door on wow. Sunday. Yeah, he's really cool dude. Really into podcasting. If you guys want to talk about podcasting, go see. Go talk to Ming Chen. He will freaking talk about you podcasting every day. He might even ju jump on your show. He's awesome. Um, we got, oh yeah, the karate, the karate Kid little uh, mini get-together. Martin Cove and Billy Sapka, who, I remember Billy Sapka by Super Mega Fest. He kind of just <laughs> caught right in front of our interview with Kevin, with Kevin, Steve Perry, not Kevin Perry. Sorry, I know too many Perrys. Um, yeah, dude, I, we can spend all night here. Oh, jo uh, Joey Lauren Adams from Chasing Amy. That just made me sad. I know, I, that's why I said it. Guys, it's... That's tons of stuff. Bill Diamond. Bill Diamond was involved with the new Dark Crystal. He's just got to be involved with the new Dark Crystal. I hope he's involved with the new Dark Crystal. Well, we can find out next week. Yes, we can <laughs> ask him. Yes. Not next week, two weeks. No, next week. Next he's going to be a Scarecrow? Next week. Next. <laughs> I'll be all right, guys. But yeah, so Comic-Con, that's just the celebrity, guys. But not to mention, they have a custom contest. They have this, uh, the artist. Oh, Jesus. I forgot the, the celebrity artist. Jim Steranko is going to be there. Neil Adams. Ooh, I got a couple of comics I want him to sign. Jim Shooter. Just just a bunch of great... I mean, if you're a comic book fan like I am, uh, which uh, I've been buying way too many comics <laughs> lately. We won't go there. Uh, oh, Alan Bellman. He's... Um, He's, he, if you guys don't know Alan Bellman, then I, I don't know where you've been, but he was, he just did a lot of the Golden Age and Silver Age comics back for Marvel, uh, Captain America, The Submariner, he, he, he's, we, we met him last year too, he's really cool dude, he'll sit there and tell you stories of Stan Lee and, and all that from back in the day, really cool dude. 
uh, Joe St. Pierre, who I'm looking for his series, the Tooth and Claw Wolverine series. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, he's, he's always at the cons. He's a really cool dude to talk to. And uh, he's got his own, his own series coming out. Well, not coming out, but just came out. The Zodiac, that's what it's called. Really great artwork and, and really good story. Well, hopefully, he has a couple of copies so I can grab it. Oh, the Zodiac? Yes. Yeah, he has. He <laughs> always has them there. Uh, I usually keep him too busy to stop at the table. Sorry, guys. Uh, Hannibal King, which uh, Hannibal King, he's, uh, he started a couple new projects, but what I know him best by, he, he drew a lot of my favorite Magic the Gathering cards from back in the day. So, uh, Foxwood Casino. 10th and 11th. 10th and 11th, Comic Con. Uh, Brought to you by Alter Relata Entertainment, who are the folks that bring you Rhode Island Comic Con, Terracon, and Colorado Spring Comic Con. Great, great, great people over there. Steve, Sue, Joe, all of them. They're really good people. Um, let's we'll go to our next Comic Con, which it's actually the same weekend. Who I forgot to bring up here, sorry. So you're going blind into this. Kids Comic Con, who's brought to you... Who's who's put to his who's put together by Emily Drew Drew, I always kill her name. But Kids Comic Con is June 11th uh, up in Nashua at the Radisson. It's a con just for kids. So if you have kids, little kids, big kids, there it's it's con just for them. It's geared towards her. Uh, Emily Drew used to be a a um, an artist for Disney. She's she's a very talented. She has her own Epic Comics, who are just geared for kids. Jordan loves her comics and reads them as before we even get out of the con sometimes. So that's another small little one day con. If you're up in the New Hampshire area, that's great to bring the little ones for. It was just geared for them. They have a lot of good artists there, a lot of uh, good events. I know they have the kids um, lightsaber battles or duels or training, whatever it is that they call it. I forget. They have the kids costume contest and of course a bunch of kids comics for them to, to get at. So, you know, if you have some kids, you don't want to go to the casino with them, but you want to go to a con that weekend, here you go. Got a perfect place to go. Yes, yes. They're um, definitely good, a good con to go for kids. And it's also, I think it's their second year. So it's if you're new or worried that you're not going to be able to keep track of your kids, it's it, you won't have any choice. You won't, you won't have to, no worries about that. It's, it's, a, it's a smaller con. Again, it's only their second year. It's only one day, and it's just geared for kids. You'll be perfect there. Just go check it out. It's totally worth it. Kids of any ages will enjoy it. I'm telling you, it's great. Um, so, this next Comic Con coming up, um, I believe is going to be the 24th and 25th. So, and that's actually going to be in Worcester, Massachusetts at right. the DCU Center. That's going to be the last weekend in, in June, which is right here in in my hometown i can literally walk 10 minutes to the dcu center um and it's brought to you by the guys over at double midnight comics which also bring you granite state comic con which we'll touch on that one later on um this is their third year doing massive right yes uh it's a great con um it's grown significantly over the over the last two years um they've They've got the convention center, and the convention center has got like three floors of panel rooms where they have screenings. They have the whole video game room that's set up. That's they have done, video games and board games. That's and done by um the video game is done by um underground games down in in Natick, uh, down there. The great guys Jamie and them they run a great show. Um, it's awesome. Uh, well, I really like it because I don't really have to travel that long. So yeah. Um. Lots of panels. The the costume contest too is it's it's up there. They've they've had lots of experience doing their costume contest. Their their guests are are getting bigger and bigger. Last year we had a couple of the Power Rangers that were great, and they have um, Steve Bloom, the voice of Wolverine, who we got to talk to, and it was awesome. This year they have Booker T, another wrestling. Um, Chester Rushing from Stranger Things. DDP, Diamond Dallas Page is going to be there. <laughs> Diamond Dallas Page is going to be there, right. They're actually doing a special thing with that Diamond Dallas Page. Um, they have like a special package. You can go in and then do like some sort of workout or motivated talk or something like that. Uh, to be honest, I really didn't check it much because, again, I'm not a big wrestling fan. So I was like, oh, I got to go look at this. So 
Sorry. Don't shoot me. Um, Kevin McNally. He's a uh, Paris of the Caribbean. And Martin Kleba. Kleba. Uh, another Paris of the Caribbean. So, um, Kevin McNally, he's, um, he's like the first mate of Captain Jack Sparrow, right? You said. Yeah, and uh, Martin is, is the, the little guy. Um, and they have lots of, lots of uh, comic book artists there as well. So, this is also going to be a show that's going to be full of um, cosplayers. I remember the first year. Um, not only that's where we met Emily from, who's running Kids Con, um, but that is also they had like tons of like there's an Iron Man there, there's a Mystique there, and they're just all like really nice helping, you know, playing with kids and things like that. So really another but great way to you know spend the weekend yes. with the kids. Yes, the, um, they usually have a big. Actually, Emily usually has a big. Kids con like a mini kids con within massive con where she sets up tables. The kids can go sit down and color. She teaches them how to draw some of her, some of their favorite characters. And usually right across from where her tables are, the hero army is there, <laughs> and then you just get to hang out. Why are you laughing? Oh, uh, I just remember the first year. Um, I have a picture of um, which one? Black Widow drawing oh, yeah. with Spider Man. <laughs> Yeah, and it looks it looks like Black Widow was teaching Spider Man how to draw. That's right. Uh, I thought you were talking about that the the time where she uh she starts to draw girl and you just went rushing to a table and sat at the table and were like girl and was sitting there trying to learn how to draw girl and I'm pretty sure Jordan beat you on that one actually. Um, I see Chris Campana is gonna be there. He's he's a good artist. I, I like his stuff. Darby Pop's gonna be there. Little Giant Comics. I've I've heard of them before. Oh then, uh, oh CBS, CBCS authorized witnessing. So if you get an autograph from one of the celebs or something autograph from the comic, CB, these guys will authenticate it in case you ever want to get your um, your comics graded and, and put in a slab. Which you know some of you want, want might want to do that and stuff like that. They they're gonna have lots of cosplayers there. Bunch of people cosplayers. Uh, the Massachusetts Ghostbusters are gonna be back there. Um, the Saber Academy. Oh yeah, see the Saber Academy. Those guys are oh, badasses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those dudes. That that the, the dude that leads it. I always forget his name. He's a big old dude with the. He looks kind of like the white version of um, who's the new Aquaman? Jason Momoa. Momoa. Yeah, he, he he dudes dudes badass and he knows his stuff with a sword. I I wouldn't wanna uh, meet him in a dark alley. The 501st, of course, the 501st is always there everywhere, and don't don't take my tone as a, I just, I love them. They're great. Um, the Batmobile is going to be there from the Batman 66 from the TV series. Joker, Crown Vic, and the Bumblebee. Oh, the Bumblebee Camaro is going to be there. Nice. Um, yeah, so Massive Con. I think those are the four cons that are coming up this, this month. This month. Scarecon, literally this weekend. Comic Con the following weekend, then you get a little break, uh, and the weekend after uh, that. No, oh, sorry, Comic Con you get. You have Comic Con, then we have Kids Con, Con on, on the eleventh, yeah. yeah. And then you get a break, then you got uh, Massive Con, which which is great. Um, and that's just the cons. Uh, those are the only cons we're gonna get into, like really in depth right now. Like we just did. see the Hero Army is gonna be there. So they're so great. A, a lot of um, charitable cosplaying groups are going to be there. So I just bought that one oh. earlier today. Thanks. Um, sorry, comics. <laughs> um, so, I mean, not only are you going to have a fun time at Massive Con, but you're also going to be able to support some really good causes. Oh, so. the pirates of the, the pirates too. The brother and the pirates are going to be there. I forget about them. They're, um, they're a great cause. You get to fight Jack Sparrow with a sword. And, uh, beat them up with it if you can um, and all these organizations of course take donations for a charity to help kids so they're they're really good places I always drop a couple of bucks in their boxes to let them let them know I still appreciate them now the next comics I'm um, just gonna just touch on real quick because they're not due for the next couple of months uh, the first one will be Comic-Con uh, no, Comic Connecticut, <laughs> Connecticut, uh, which is at the Connecticut Convention Center in Hartford, Connecticut, July 6th and, uh, through the 9th. Then we got Boston Comic Con, August 11th through the thir uh, 13th. That's what I said. <laughs> terrific Con, Mitch's comic, which which is quite actually terrific. At Mohegan Sun in Connecticut as well, August 18th through the 20th. 
Granite State Comic Con, which is kind of like when I celebrate my birthday because it's in September, uh, September 16th and 17th at uh, the Radisson in Manchester. Uh, it's a good, great con, great after party. That's where we met Billy D. Williams and had a good old time dancing and drinking with Billy D. Billy D. Williams. Cool dude. Super Mega Fest in October 21st and 22nd, which I will not be at because my buddy's getting married and I'll be in Ohio. But I'll be thinking of you guys, maybe. And of course, it's like the, the crown jewel. I don't want to like insult any of the other cons, but again, Rhode Island Con was my first. So number one in his heart. <laughs> yes, and it's kind of like my crown jewel. I, I get ready all year for this con. And somehow every year something happens that I, I have to run back and forth between home and Rhode Island. So hopefully this year I'm going to plan it where I can just focus all weekend in South Rhode Island and not leave. It's um, November 10th, 11th, and 12th. It's literally, we, we've had, like I said, we've had some tough times in November the last few years. And even with those, we've, we've enjoyed Rhode Island Comic Con. I mean, I don't want to get into it, but Yo-Yo can testify more than I can about yeah. it. Um, it's really honestly sweet sweetness uh those are the comic cons coming up so now because we are in the heart of comic con season i want to give you guys my rules and guidelines for going to a comic con so my so i'm gonna call this vlad's rules and guidelines for comic cons first off shower don't just spray perfume or cologne or deodorant shower guys water and soap i say this from the bottom of my heart and i've been out in the field i've smelled some raunchy stuff i've worked in a prison i have smelled raunchy stuff there is nothing worse than someone walking past you with some strong bo and you get that sharp 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 smell coming up your nose that just makes you want to drop everything guys shower you're meeting your celebrity heroes or or whatever they don't want to come up to you if you smell like garbage pan guys shower just water and soap no input i mean you also need a face rag or you know sponge or you know what <laughs> water and soap works just literally just take the soap and a bucket of water and it will do the job believe you me it just I've seen some great cosplayers where that I've that walked by me and I've had that stench and I've I've haven't asked for a picture because I didn't want to be that close. And I can just imagine being a celebrity signing or having my photo taken with this person and they want to be close like arm to arm and they lift that arm up and they might drop, guys. I mean Honestly, you want to meet these celebrities, and some of these celebrities are dropped that gorgeous, and they don't want to be smelling this. Like, even if they're not dropped that gorgeous, they don't want to be smelling the smell, guys. Seriously, shower. Don't just spray yourself with some Axe or some perfume or, or roll more deodorant on, on underneath them pits. So don't skip the deodorant. I mean, that it's also important. Yes, but <laughs> first and foremost, shower. If you put deodorant on without that shower, and you've been working or whatever you've been doing all day and, and you don't have that deodorant on, I, God, seriously, shower, guys. I have seriously worked in some horrendous places and I've never smelled B.O. that bad. Shower. First and foremost, shower, water and soap, deodorant, then get dressed. Rant over. So, number two, hydration. Yes. <laughs> So, it's, I mean, you're going to be spending a lot of time walking around um, rather large convention centers, going from table to table, going to panels. It's important to make sure you are staying hydrated, especially a um, large group of people, a lot of heat being produced. Make sure you have something to drink. Um, if you can grab a water, if they allow you to bring water into the con, have a water. Don't grab a soda. Don't grab, like, a sports drink. Water. Water, water, water. I because mean, you if, you want, if you want, hydrated. If you anything else, yes. But if you want to grab a, dra a sports drink <laughs> or so what, by all means, because wild buzz in a lot of these places, have enjoy it. But remember, for every one soda, have one water, one cup of water or two. You need water, guys. You really do. I don't want to see someone with the eyes rolling in the back of their heads going. 
because I will scream timber. Very good point. Yeah. I like it. I, honestly, most of these places will, will probably allow you to bring water in in your bag if if you if it's sealed. Bring the little baby bottles, like the, the, the little baby bottles for kids. They'll let you bring those in. Bring a cup. The, most of these places have bubblers or they'll have a sink and water if you don't want to buy the $4 water bottle, which I don't blame you. I don't. Bring a filtered water bottle in and pour it from the sink and drink it. It is wet. It will hydrate you. It will keep you from passing out. I won't tell you how our core men used to rehydrate people who passed out, but you don't want to pass out. So what would you say number three should be? Bring a bag. Even if it's empty, bring a bag. Actually, preferably empty, or at least somewhat empty, because you might be grabbing a lot of stuff while you're there. Right. So you don't want to have to sit there and be like slugging around a bunch of bags. If you have somewhere convenient to just store everything while you're traveling around the cons. Especially if you're bringing kids. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I have gone to Massive Con with 10 kids. Literally, 10 kids. I think it was. Maybe a couple, maybe like eight or nine, but it was a lot of kids. And they all want something. And they all get something, whether it's at a table, at the kids' con, where they draw it, or, or they win a prize, or a 50 cent piece of thing, or whatever. They get things, it accumulates. You only have two hands. Storage is important. Yes. Bring a bag. And in that bag, you should have gum or some sort of breath mint. Maybe a deodorant. Get one of those little travel size deodorant. You never know, especially if you're going to be there all day. Get one of those little size. A water bottle, full but sealed, or an empty water bottle with a filter in it so that way you can fill up there. And maybe mm -hmm. uh things I would say to bring is one of these uh, yes. battery pack. Um, if you don't have a you know standalone camera, your cell phone's you know going to be your camera for the day. You don't want to get reach a moment where you just someone you have to take a picture of, and your phone's dead. Yes. So incredibly important, incredibly useful to have. Yes. And always, if you're gonna have electronics in a bag, and you're gonna keep, keep put any type. of of anything that may be in some sort of liquid state, either put the electronic in a bag or put that liquid stuff in a bag, like in a baggie. Or somewhere. in separate pockets. Or in separate pockets. Well, because if it's wet enough, it might travel through, so I still recommend the bag. Good amount of space, basically. Yes. If you're going to put it in separate pockets, good um, If you're going to get signatures or a comic or anything, bring a, a, a bag and a board or bring a something that you can put them in and protect them. Um, folders. Folders, um, um, yeah. Just Especially for like pictures and things like that, they're absolutely. a lifesaver. Yes, yes. Grab them. Um, the next time you get uh, you you get a box in from Amazon, just cut the flaps and tape them together to an, like an 8x10 and you've made yourself a little protective covering and you're done. I've done it. I still have pictures in mind because I can't find the right size frames to put, hang them up. Anyways, um, yeah, bag, definitely. Maybe even a towel in a bag. Small little towel, it doesn't have to be a big one. I mean, guys, it's a lifesaver. If your kids are going, bring, have them bring them an empty bag too. I'm telling you, it's a lifesaver. That's why we, we fit more stuff on their back. And you can save your bag for your stuff, like all those pops that you're gonna get, or the figurines, the comics, everything. It's endless, the stuff you get. Ugh. You even get it. You can walk out with a game system out of uh, Comic Con. Trust me. Four. What would you say number four should be? I was thinking hand sanitizer, but because I mean, taking a lot of hands, touching a lot of things, it's important to you know keep your body safe. Hand sanitizer, but there's bathrooms where you can just well, no hand sanitizer. Yeah. yeah. So you, the, you the spray or the or the little the little uh, yeah. pure old bottle. Talking about yeah. the dollar. I mean. Keeps you safe, keeps everybody else around you safe because you might happen to have something. Yeah, that's I think true. it's a, a very useful thing to have with you. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I like that. But I think we uh, we should have placed this next one higher than five, but we'll still put it at five. Don't buy anything within the first hour. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. It is con. You're gonna be there at least three hours, guaranteed. 
you're gonna be there unless you just have that one person you're gonna see and then you're gonna dash out you're gonna be there at least three hours to get your money's worth don't buy anything within the first hour you're gonna go in and as soon as you walk in the doors you're gonna go ooh shiny drop all your money you're gonna make one lap around and you'll be like ah oh, shoot I want that but I have no more money I'm not saying don't spend your money well, actually, I would say worse yet if you find something as soon as you walk in and then you go further in, find somebody else with the same item for less. Yes. That, that's why it's important to go through, check everybody's table out, um, see all the things that are available, um, see all the artists. And then decide. Especially on Sunday. The vendors on Sunday sometimes have great deals on Pops. And I'm sorry I keep using Pops, so they're just the, the best example I have. Think of Pops figurines, books. There's a couple of vendors that sell books. They'll do like a sale on Sunday. They're like five for like 20 bucks. Great sales. I've picked up a lot of stuff on those Sundays, but that doesn't mean wait till Sunday because not everyone does it. But at least means you want to wait at least an hour before you sit there and buy it. It's, you know, it's kind of like the old white style about, you know, going to swim after eating. Yes. Give it a bit. Yes. Now, I'm not talking about spending your money on your celebrities because that is reversed. In your celebrities, you want to get there as fast as possible and get to your celebrities, especially if they're a really big name like Jason David Frank or Stan Lee, unless you have like bought tickets already. Um, you you want to get there as soon as possible, get in line, get your, especially if you get, if, if it's a three day event and it's Friday, Friday's usually the slowest. Saturday is going to be packed. Get there, get straight to the celebrities, get your signatures, and then go on with the con. But if you get distracted and you spend all your money and stuff at the, at the vendor tables, or the artist tables, you won't get your celebrities uh, signatures or photo ops or anything like that. So that's kind of like an, an amendment to rule five. Right, that was rule five. Um, what I was just thinking about is coming in with a plan, especially if you there are several celebrities who want to come in and see know how much check on the websites all these cons have websites most of them do have um prices for photo ops and so yeah. um, the, the autographs listed so it's a great way to their okay. facebook even if they don't go on their facebook or their twitter they're very active i know sue and uh the uh, all of these um cons press relations and, and media social media people they're very active on their sites they will answer you right back so it's important, like you said, to have a plan. So especially if you have multiple people you want to go see, know, pick it with anything. You want to make sure you know everything, every step you're going to do. So that way you can plan spending out accordingly, make sure you have money set aside. Because you don't want to reach a situation where you, you, there's three people you wanted to see, you saw the first two, you get to the last one, and you didn't plan ahead and didn't have the money to, you know. Because you went and bought that figurine you first saw when you walked in the doors. That figurine you could have bought at GameStop the next day or down the week, two or three weeks later. Don't get me wrong, if it's something rare, I have broken my own rule. Um, I think it was last year at Rhode Island. The uh, Animaniacs Pops just, just come out. Mm -hmm. And I think I only saw one vendor with him. And he was like, you want him? I've got one set. I give you all the whole set right now. And he gave me a great price for it and I bought it. Because it's Animaniacs. <laughs> Come on now, they taught me so much. Now, six. Guys, Artist Alley. These guys are artists. They make their living with their drawings. Don't go up to the table and take a picture with your phone. That's like stealing. Don't do it. If you like the picture enough or the print enough to take a picture of it, buy it. Don't take a picture of it. You're stealing from them. You know how long it takes to draw something? Even if they're not drawing and they create it digitally, you know how many hours it takes to create that one picture digitally on the computer with whatever program they're using? They're artists. That's how they make their living. Don't just go up to the table, oh, that's pretty, click and walk away. Don't do it. Don't. If I see you doing it, I'm going to stand in front of you. Don't do it. That's good we have a lot of artist friends it's important that you know they make some beautiful pieces it's nice to enjoy a beautiful piece but if you really love it 
Talk to them about buying it. They're cheap, guys. They're they're really not that expensive. You can get a lot of them will give you a deal if you buy three for for a certain amount of price. Guys, I, yeah. at most a, a print costs you ten bucks. And owning it's going to be way better than having a picture of it. Yeah, because you got the glare the, from the lights and everything. Don't do it, guys. Just just don't. Every time I see someone do it, I want to knock their phone out of their hands. Don't do it. I've got a lot of friends that are artists, and I don't ask them to draw me something. I don't, hey, can you draw me this? I say, how much would it cost me, cost me to draw this, even though they're my friends? Don't do it. That's their living. You don't go to the mechanic and be like, oh, hey, fix this for me? Thanks. You're my friend. No, just don't do it. Sorry, pet peeve. <laughs> Seven, wear comfortable shoes. Hmm? Plan your outfit. If you're not cosplaying, plan high heels. Just ain't gonna cut it, ladies. You may look good and your butt may look perkier, but you're walking. Stairs. A lot of these convention centers are cement floors. They're not comfortable to walk on for more than 20 minutes. Even that. Plan ahead. Dress comfortably. If it's cold outside and it's gonna be it's gonna be hot in the con. So there's a lot of people inside of it. So a lot of these cons get do and get pretty packed. And walking around. Remember that remember that backpack? You take your junk jacket off and instead of holding it in your hand all con, you put it in that bag. Uh, if you cosplay, I'm not saying that I don't enjoy watching all looking at all sorts of cosplays but cosplay is something you're going to be comfortable in you're going to be comfortable in whether it's a bikini or whether it's a suit whatever there's going to be thousands of people at these cons and if you're not comfortable with people looking at you in a bathing suit then don't wear it because they're going to look and they're going to ask for pictures hopefully they'll ask for pictures don't take any harassment because that's 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 coming later on but be comfortable in what you're wearing because it's you're gonna be there a long time plan for how, what was it that Janet Jackson said clothing malfunctions it happens it's ha has it has happened to me in more than one occasion you have to plan for it always plan for it and just in case you never know granted you can't plan for everything you never know if everything's gonna happen but try to be prepared. Plan your cosplay around comfortable shoes. It's, guys, it's a long day. It's gonna be even longer if you're uncomfortable and if your feet hurt. Don't do that to yourself. Number eight, I would have to say is, um, ask before you take a photo, especially with cosplayers. I mean, maybe they have a specific pose they wanna be in. Maybe it's just not the best time to take a photo. Like, anybody, I mean, you don't just randomly Take, go up to people and take photos of them. If you're walking down the street, you don't do that at a con either. What is Ask them to take a photo. What is it? Uh, what, what's that saying that a lot of cons use? Cosplay is not consent. Just because they're in cosplay doesn't mean they want you to take their picture. Especially if it's a small child, guys. Don't ask the small child. Ask the parent. As a parent myself. Ask the parent. Number nine. <laughs> Be courteous at the tables. These vendors and or artists are there and they are more than willing to speak to you. But if you're going to spend more than an hour at their table, buy something or get out of the way when someone else comes by. Now, you're talking to them, it's a whole different story. But if you stop in the middle of the aisle and there's like five of you and you're blocking their table, no one can get to their table. This is how some of these guys make their livings. Be courteous, be attentive. If you have to stop somewhere, go in the aisle, out, out, out of the aisle, I should say, against the wall, away from the their, their, their vendor spaces. Cause you're just blocking their stuff and you're preventing them from people getting to their table. Yeah, disrupting the flow of traffic. It's like, yeah, it's packed enough, it's busy enough. Don't just gather in a bunch in the middle. Move over to the side. Be courteous, guys. Courtesy goes a long way, I'm telling you. No, I, I think that you said it well enough. I mean, it's important to be courteous. You know, not only are you going to be, a lot, a lot of these people, this is what, this is their season. This is the season where they're going to be making their money off of things that they've been preparing all year. So. And don't take pictures of their stuff. <laughs> um, 
the, you sitting in front of a table is not only going to you know keep people away from seeing the beautiful things that they have to offer, but impeding traffic. Because a lot of these places you have, just like on a, on a road, you have a couple of lanes to go through. Full, tra full traffic, guys. Full traffic. To the right, to the left. You know, keep going. Sometimes you have to veer around other people because they're talking or they're buying something. Don't just get mad and push your way out of the way. But just don't huddle with one area. Just be courteous, guys. So everyone's there to have a good time. No one's there to make your life miserable. That's all. Be courteous. So number 10. 10. 10! Be courteous to the staff. The volunteers at most of these conventions I just that. Volunteers. They don't get paid. This isn't their full-time job. They're volunteers. If they're telling you to do something, it's because they're just trying to make sure the, con the con's running as smooth as possible. Um, they love these things as much as you do, and they don't want to see anything bad happening to anybody. They want to see it go as well as they can so everybody enjoys himself. They're, so. they're following what they were told to do to try and keep the lines moving as fast as possible so everyone gets to see the guests they want to see. Don't belittle them. Don't be rude to them. They're not there. They're not being malicious to you. They're just following what they're doing. They're there because they love these cons and they want to help out. If it wasn't for them, these cons wouldn't happen. Be nice to the volunteers. They are volunteers. Be nice. Uh, that's 10, right? That's 10. Yeah, I, th I think that's a good amount of things to leave them with. Um, I mean, other than that, I'd have to say go out, check out these cons, and enjoy them. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing this monthly, so this this is everything that's going on in June. Um, so next month will be July. July. So, so we'll come back with all of the new cons going on, um, any celebrity updates for these conventions. We'll get more in-depth in it. Right. And so we'll give you another brush up on our cons, guys, and, and, and courtesies and, and rules. We'll also post them up uh, on a more, probably add more than just a 10. But guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video if you like us if you want to hear us do something or cover something shoot me a message um new england comic con reviews necc reviews twitter and instagram snapchat vlad morero on facebook just search for me vlad at any any comic con reviews dot com um yo yo at any cc reviews dot com yeah no it's joe st laurent oh yeah we put yo st laurent sorry so, Yo St. Laurent. <laughs> you, could, you could also find them at Boy Me's phone. On Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, yeah. wherever you're doing your social media. Yeah, so um, also check out The Dorkening, the, our great shows. We have three shows with them now. Well, we don't. Us, as a collaborative, have three shows together. So don't miss them. And remember to give it a like, a share, and we might give a do a giveaway if we hit 500 likes uh, soon. So share. Stay tuned. We'll see you. Learn something. See you guys later, all right?